Hi there. Welcome to WEP Mat. In this video, you are going to be learning about Team widget of the Elements Kit plugin. Go ahead and open up any page with Elementor Page Builder. After that, from the widget panel, search Team. There you'll find the Team widget with an Elements Kit label. Drag and drop the widget on your page. This is the default style, but using the controls comes with Team widget, you can make it more beautiful. Imagine we have three members in our team, so you need to duplicate this one. Now let's open the middle one and from the left side choose an image. After that, let's have a look at some of the styles that the team widget offers you. The first one is the default style and the second one is the overlay style. In the overlay style, you will see only the member's photo but after you hover on it, you will find some details. The next one is the centered and in the centered, you might see this kind of a broken situation. But this is not actually broken. In here, we need to increase the image size. So what we can do, we can go to style, then open the image control. After that, you need to increase the image size from here. Make sure you use percentage unit. All right, we'll come to this style setting after a moment. Now let's go back to the content tab and see the next style. Our next style is hover on social. Now if you hover on it, you'll find some social icon. Now again you might think that this one is broken but this is actually not. Let's go to the style tab, again go to image and they will find the border radius. By default it comes with 50% from all side but let's make it zero. Alright, now let's go back to the content tab again and see another style which is the overlay with details. After that, sound out with details and the next one is long height with hover. Then you have long height with details. The next one is overlay with circle shape. And the last one is overlay with circle shape and hover. Alright, now you have noticed every time when you hover in it, you'll find a title and the description. After that, you have the social icon. If you want to change any of the content here, you can use these options. The first one is member name and the member position is a designer. Let's make it designer to developer. After that, you have show description option. If you open it and hover on it again, you'll find some description here. You can change the description from this panel. In order to show you all the options very clearly, we need to change the style. Let's choose the overlay with details. After that, you have social profile. There you'll find only one social media, which is Facebook. If you want to add a new one, click add item after that, you'll find the option to choose the social media icon. I'll choose Twitter. After you choose the icon, now you have to change the label. I'll change the label name Facebook to Twitter. Then you find the control to put your social link. I'll keep the setting unchanged, but you have to provide with your Twitter social link in case if you want to use the Twitter. After that, you have the color. Now if you hover on it, you'll find the Twitter color is similar to the Facebook one. But you can change it from here. So what I'll do, I'll keep the color white and the background color red. And on hover, I'll change the background color black. Now if you hover on it again, there you can see the background color becomes black. After that, you have the border, text shadow and the box shadow. If you select a border solid or any other style, they will find a border around the social icon. You can change the border width from here. I'll make one pixel from all side. Then if you open up the pop-up details, they will find some other controls. Before we talk about each control, let's see the preview. If you click on the title, they will find a pop-up with some details. You'll be able to modify these details from this option. From here, you can change this about, phone number, email, and the close icon. You can also control the close icon alignment. I'll make it right side to the left side, and I'll duplicate some of the information from here. Now again, if you click on the title, You'll find the close icon in the left side and the more information after the title. So this is all about the settings you'll find under the content tab. Now let's see what we have under the style tab. There in the content style tab, the first control you'll notice is the background type. Let's choose background color green and hover on the team widget. You won't see any changes because we have selected the content background color green. But in normal mode, you won't see any content here. You can see the content after hover. So what you can do in order to see the changes, go to the hover style and choose a background color. This time I'm choosing red. You can hover on the content, there you can see the background color becomes red. So what is this normal background color? This background color will be applied when the content doesn't come in hover. 
As an example, let's open the first widget, then go to style tab. From here, let's choose a background color. And there you can see it's working because in default style, the content remains from the beginning. Now let's go to the middle content and see the next control is the box shadow. If you open the box shadow, there you can see the horizontal, vertical and the blur control. I'll increase the vertical control 10 pixel. I'll make it 15 pixel. If I hover on the content, there you can see the box shadow increase. After that, you have the alignment control, padding control and the content padding. Then you'll notice the border type. From here, you can select any style you want, but in my case, I want to use solid. Then you need to choose the width for the border. I'll choose 5 pixel and the border radius I want to make 10 pixels from all sides. You can also change the border color. I'll make it red. Then you have hover overlay color, background type and the remove gutter. After that, the image control comes in. Here you can work with the image size that you have already seen. After that, the margin control and the box shadow control. We have already learned about the box shadow, border and the border radius. And we have already learned what is background type. So you don't want to repeat this control once again. Now let's open the name control. From the typography, you can control the font family, font size, font weight, text transform and style. I'll choose font family pop-ins and the font size I want to make it 40 pixel. After that, you have font weight. Let's make it 600 and the transform I want to make capitalize. Then you have the line height and the letter spacing control. I'll keep the settings unchanged. Then you have the color control and the margin bottom control. After that, if you open the position, there you have the similar controls you have already seen in the name tab. So you are not going to repeat this one. Into the text content tab, the first control you have is the typography and the color. We have already learned about the typography and color. And the new control you have is the margin dimension. If you hover on the widget and if you feel that you need a margin top a bit, on that time, unlink and increase the margin top to 20 pixel. And they'll notice that the margin top has increased. After that, you have the social profile. Into the social profile, the first control you have is the alignment. Right now, it's selected to center. Let's make it right content. In the right content alignment, it doesn't look good. So let's make it center once again. After that, you have the display, which is inline block. That means all the items will be in queue. First, let's make it in a list view. In order to do it, you need to select block and hover on it. And there you can see right now, it's in list view. The inline block style will look better. So let's choose it. After that, from the decoration, you can select any type of decoration you want. Let's make it unchanged. After that, you have the border radius. By default, it comes with 50% border radius from all sides, but I want to use 5 pixel. After that, you have padding and margin. And the last control you have is the icon size and the typography. From the icon size, I'll make it 14 pixel. If you want to use any specific height or width, you need to enable this control. After that, you can choose any height or width you want. I'll choose width 50 pixel, height 50 pixel, and the line height 50 pixels so that in vertically the icon remains in the middle. After that, you have model controls. These model controls have something to do with the pop-up. As an example, let's make the pop-up background color red and see the output from here. And there you can see the background color of this pop-up has become red. After that, the name color, let's make it white. Let's increase the size 60 pixel. Then you have the margin bottom. Similarly, you can work with the position color, typography and the margin bottom. After that, you have phone and email control. And similar to the previous two controls like the name and position, you can also work with the typography, color and the color on hover. As you have already learned about these controls, so you can change like you want. After that, you have close icon control. There you can see the first control is the icon color. Let's make it white and on hover, I'll make it black. Then you have the background, border, border radius and box shadow. You can also increase the font size. Let's increase it to 40 pixel. Now if you want to work with the tablet device or mobile devices on that time, from the bottom, choose a device you want. As an example, I'll choose mobile device and imagine you need to decrease the font size of this title. So I'll click on it, then I'll open the name and from the typography, I'll decrease the font size. It was 40 pixel, but right now I'll make it 24 pixel. And there you can see as an output, this font size has become 24 pixel. But for the desktop device, it will remain 40 pixel. So this is all about the settings you need to know in order to work with the team widget. Now there is one last thing that I want to talk about is the layout kit. Click on this little elements kit icon. After that, you'll face the layout template. From here, you can use any ready-made template you want. But in this case, as we are talking about the team widget, let's see what kind of ready layout elements kit offers you. Go to sections. After that, click on team 
and there you can see some of the ready layout of the team widget. You'll find more layout from the widget preset. Go to widget preset after that team and there you can see a lot more. From here let's choose this one. After that if you want to see the live preview click on this live preview button or if you want to insert it click on the insert button. Let's see the live preview from here. So this is the ready layout that we are going to include into our website. If you want to see more similar to this scroll and check them. All right now let's use that one. You can go back to your page and click insert. This importing moment can take a bit of time so please be patient. After it finished importing you can see the demo into your website. Now you can customize it like you want. Thank you for watching this video.